to you live from the top secret broadcasting bunker tomorrow, or is it already yesterday, or maybe it's a week from now, and we're remembering it as three weeks ago. This is Pastor Bill. Wait a minute. That is so weird. I I had this memory that I I used to be called Pastor Mike. And now I'm Pastor Bill. Okay, Pastor Mike, uh, back to the daycare center. Change the tablets. Um, I'll have a word with your nurse. Do you know what I mean? And uh, we'll, we'll take you from there, big man. Okay. Where I left off on Tuesday, if if I remember it being Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday. Look, if you don't know what day it is, uh, and you, you've got a YouTube channel, Pastor Bill or Pastor Mike, whatever your name is, what are you doing on here? Come on. Come on. Get a grip of yourself. I'm right now, and I... I... <clears throat> Pastor Mike Hoggard here, giving the show that hell hates. Uh... Loves actually there, Mike. Um, if you ever watched a Mike Hoggard video, you can see the smarminess on his face. Um, you can see the arrogance there, and he is rather entertaining. You know, he, he does come away with quirky little jokes and stuff like that. The last one that I watched with regards to the Mandela effect, he pretended not to know his name. I watched another one where he was saying that this is the hideout, you know, that we are broadcasting facility that doesn't want anyone to find, and yet he gives the address out. And this this is some kind of hillbilly humor, obviously. But um, with regards to the word of God, I've made a couple of rebuttal videos um, about him about three years ago. Very simple, straightforward, um, to the point. Which Mike Hoggard is the last guy in the world. You know, if you want to ask directions or you want to ask a straight question to, you'll be sitting on your hands for the next three hours, basically, while your head spins listening to this guy. Um, I remember watching him in the Prophecy Club, and he said that he studied uh, the occult for a long, long time, um, makes a lot of videos supposedly exposing the occult, one of the things I remember him saying on the Prophecy Club, I think, I'm pretty certain it was him, was that witches and warlocks and all that, they actually make up as many ways as they can to, to disobey um, God's commandments. Like, they, they break as many commandments as they can every day, and they try to cause as many people as possible to break them every day. That's basically what a lot of magicians, witches, warlocks actually do the ones that are truly um, taking an oath against God and his anointed, you know, according to Psalm 2, um, which, yes, is called a conspiracy, you know. So why then does Mike, you know, according to my last two rebuttal videos against him, actually teach against keeping the Ten Commandments? Now, I've heard of greasy gracers before. You know, the greasy gracers will say, it's impossible for you to keep the commandments. It's absolutely impossible. It doesn't matter how much faith you have, how much you try, how, how much of Jesus you have. You just still, you just, it's impossible to keep the Ten Commandments, right? But this guy takes it one step further. In one of his videos called The Ten Toes, he actually states that the Ten Commandments are going to be destroyed by God because man can't keep them. Okay? Now, if, if this isn't like Illuminati occult witchcraft, I don't know what is. I just don't know what is. I don't know if the man's just confused. I don't know if the man has been reading too many occult books and maybe he's got a few demons inside him and he really needs a deliverance, which is which is quite probable. But the other side of it is, is that he's actually in the occult, or he's been in the occult, and he's got an occult spirit, and he just, uh, he's just serving Satan. That This guy just outright serving Satan. 
I mean, forget some of the review tool videos on this uh, total clown, this sock puppet of Satan. Um, what you really got to understand is the guy is not saved. Uh, the guy may as well um, spit roast his King James Bible, even though he says he's a King James Bible onlyist. Um, the guy couldn't be any further from being born again, showing the fruits of the Spirit, um, showing obedience towards God's Word, um, which I believe are all fruits which happen after a person saved. And I believe into the bargain, he actually, uh, according to a lot of other rebuttal, Mike Hoggard rebuttal videos, there's Christians that say he talks about that you must do good works or something. It's a works-based gospel to get into the kingdom. So that's all into the mix there. This guy is the last person that you want to listen to. Maybe some suicidal people who are on the brink and they switch on his videos and there's a little bit of Jesus in there, a little bit of the Bible. They, they might have some testimony about, good testimony about Mike, but as far as teaching goes, as far as, far as just straightforward teaching the gospel or preaching the gospel goes, this guy um, is absolutely a heretic, um, a hundred percent heretic, um, and uh, he's, I just do not recommend um, listening to any of his, his videos, any of his teachings, because they're full of contradictions. When I first got on the internet, Man, that was like, I'll, I'll never forget Windows 95 and how you had to tweak and configure and you had to know what TCP IP was and you had to know what port this goes in and you had to tell Windows 95 how, what to go do with itself before you could ever get on the internet. Mike, is this about the Mandela effect or... Windows 95. I mean, oh, come on, make up your mind. Here. Okay, you had to know this port, and you had to know this setting, and you had to, th then you got a new computer, and it's, now it's, you got to do it all over again. That's how far back I've been on the internet, and I don't remember. Uh, think Mike, so you're on the internet, or Bill, or whatever your name is, you're on the internet here. You've got a chance to speak your mind, and at the moment, I have no idea really what you're trying to say. Um, seeing flames in the background I don't know what you believe in you're saying you believe in the Bible that's fine so so do we all if you're a Christian you believe in the Bible but is that Bible written um, like when you read it do you actually remember what it says you know um, basically we've got to have integrity as human beings and uh you know, if you read something one day and you go back to it and it's changed, um, what other explanation do you have? Unless there's loads of other people around the world that's had the same experience, which I believe is called the Mandela Effect here. That's what it's called. So you still haven't tackled the issue. I mean, we're getting a little bit into the video here. I don't have a lot of time, you know, to fart around. Go on. Okay. And then you've got people who have been watching way too much television, way too many movies, they've read mm. way too many comic books, have way too much time on their hands. Way too much time on their hands. And they put stuff I out there. Two hours to watch this video, Mike. The bad thing is, I think they really believe this. So, the Mandela effect, again, is people who have experienced changes who remember a different thing. And you still haven't tackled that issue. Like, the millions of people that uh, remember... Kit Kat with a dash in the middle and all the different other Mandela effects. There's literally there's thousands of them. You haven't tackled any yet, Mike. You've just sat there and belittled people who have a slightly different memory than you have. That's if you have a memory at all. Is it possible that it's a sign and wonder from the Antichrist? That's possible as well, Mike. But you haven't actually uh, delved into the possibilities yet. You've just sat there uh, and your fat little ass and mock people. That's that's not very nice. True. Yes, it's true, man.
take a good look at that. Eyes you can trust. Just look at these eyes. Eyes you can just trust. Of course. Windows to the soul. This guy here, I'm gonna I'm gonna back up. Chris just Curtis. a little bit. Yeah, you know cool what? Guy. I'm gonna have to uh, let me press press some buttons because I gotta get audio on this. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Capture, Capture audio. audio. So what I'm gonna do? Yeah, no automatically much of the DJR, shut off my headphones, my... which is good because it's gonna on. get feedback. Come on, get a grip yourself. But I want you to hear this guy. He now explains that his salvation is not bait, and this is this is a guy that is trying to sell you on the idea. I can't wait that to the hear Mandela it, man. Effect is in place. Just let the man speak, Pastor Mike. The words of the Bible. Let the man speak. See if I went Your dinner's back on the table, hear what son. He says now about Your dinner's on the really table, believes. Mike. So when I look at what has happened here, what I'm 100% sure has happened. Here, 100% sure. Um, it's not that the word of God has changed because the word of God is Jesus Christ. Let's because hear it. Jesus Christ is in heaven. He's the King of kings and Lord of lords. Read 1 John 5. Can I say it about myself, man? That bears witness on the earth. The word does not bear witness unless you have the testimony of the spirit of God. So when we look at the Bible as the inspiration. Let's just do that again is not bait and this is this is a guy that is trying to sell you on the idea that the Mandela effect is in place and that somebody went back and altered it is the in words place, man. of the Bible. Let's see if I went back far enough. You're gonna hear what he says now about what he really hear believes. Again. This one's heart. So when I look at what has happened here, what I'm one hundred percent sure has happened. One hundred percent sure. Um, 100% it's not sure. that the word of God has changed because the word of God is Jesus Christ. Let's okay, hear it. Jesus Christ is in heaven. He's the King of Kings. Of now, that to my mind is just uh, an awesome truth because the King James Bible bears witness to the fact that Jesus Christ uh, is the Word of God. And in 1 John 5 7, it says that there are three witnesses in heaven and uh, there are three witnesses on the earth. And that verse is only found, as we know, in the text as Receptus. And the Spirit, the water, and the blood are the witnesses on earth. It doesn't mention the word. The Spirit, the water, and the blood. And in heaven, um, the, the word is one of the witnesses and, and the Father. Okay. Um, amazing. A very, very good testimony. The Lord of Lords. Read First John 5, 6, 7, and 8. It's the Spirit that bears witness on the earth. The Word does not bear witness unless you have the testimony of the Spirit of God. So when we look at the Bible as the inspired Word... Unless you have the testimony of the Spirit of God. And so like pastors like Pastor Mike <clears throat> doesn't believe... Um, he'll tell you he believes in the Bible, okay? But he doesn't believe in the spiritual gifts. He doesn't believe speaking in tongues. He doesn't believe in healing. He doesn't believe in prophecy. He doesn't believe what the Bible actually teaches, what the New Testament teaches, what the apostles taught. Um, he doesn't believe these things. He's a flat line uh, Baptist preacher who sits on his fat backside and gets people to, to listen to him while he entertains them. This man is not a true apostle or disciple of Jesus Christ. Okay, He's went through the sausage mill of the Bible colleges and self-admittedly, he didn't hold true to his uh, King James Bible convictions while at college. And then, you know, while he gets out of that mess, and then he goes back to use the King James Bible, and while the Mandela effect's happening, he doesn't even have the integrity um, to actually listen to what the Word of God teaches and what the Word of God says. So this man's God is the King James Bible. It's not Jesus Christ. It's not Yahweh. Okay? And this man in this video, which I won't go over at all, but he denies the name of Yahweh in this video. I'm serious. He denies the name of Yahweh. Maybe we'll just skip to it. Maybe we'll get to listen to what he says. But he's not bearing witness to the truth, this man. And if you follow this man and what he says, you, you'll end up in a place like this. Mark my words. Okay? Mark my words. Or as the scripture, or as our direction... Um, the fact that it has changed, and I'm 100% I'm sure enough to say that it has changed. 
there it is different than it used to be. Looks pretty okay, worried so there, maybe Mike. God is trying to tell us. Pretty worried, my son. Maybe he's telling maybe. us that now Satan is dwelling among us because Very worried. remember in Revelation, Revelation twelve, it talks about Satan being cast from heaven to earth. It says, Whoa, unto the inhabitants. Oh, the rattle's been thrown out of the pram, I reckon. I know, I know that look. You, or he has come down and is dwelling among you. So, I've prayed. That's God to give me solitude and which God is that, Mike? Now, Mike Hoggard, he said that he learned the name of Yahweh while he was in Bible college, but he just speaks King James Bible words now because even though the King James Bible says that when it says capital L-O-R-D, it means yod te vav -he, but Fat Mike here, or Fat Bill, or whatever his name is, doesn't honor the first commandment. That's the th kind of thing you should know about Mike Hoggard. He's about as transparent uh, as mud. Mike has a terrible problem of in mean, two hours. I mean, he thinks everyone's got like two hours to go through his videos and what he thinks of things. He's, he's definitely wrong. So I'm going to have to edit this, but try and skip to a more interesting part in the video. Who knows what now, what they're going to go back in time and change so that it augments the future. Who knows how bad they're going to change the Bible. Pastor Mike, there's millions of Christians in heaven who never had the King James Bible, who'd never access to the things that we do today. And there are literally millions of Christians in heaven who all they did was confess Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and uh, were baptized, you know, in his name. They didn't have the access to the things we have today, Mike. You see what I mean? So, really blowing this out of perspective and you're not giving credit to where it's due. Look at that sneaky little monkey that he is. He doesn't even preach the gospel in most of his broadcasts. So, it's all about Fat Mike, or is it Fat Bill? Who really knows? The word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Look at these eyes. So you either trust yeah. what God said trust in spite God, of all this. Ep you see, and let me get to this. Let me uh, let me read this so I make sure I get it right. You love this, I'm guys. telling you. You love this. There's been I don't know how many times that I thought I knew exactly what the Bible said, mm -hmm. only to find out that when I read it, you read I it went, changed. You know, like the Mandela effect. I give an example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking to a guy one time. And Got a scripture for you here, Mike. These are those who uh, preach false gospels and uh, who don't believe in the word of God, even though they say they do. Whose God is in their belly and whose glory is in their shame. Who mind earthly things. So, I think we all know why you got a YouTube channel there, Bill. And peace and happiness and everything else. Believe the Bible, what it says, Mike. Yeah, but you don't really, do you? Um, I'm going to yeah. pick up where I left off on Tuesday. If if I remember it being Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday. Just get on with it. Um, there's stuff that came in today. I, I started seeing this yesterday. And... My head went right into my Look face like this. On. More daycare stories there, Pastor Mike. We don't really care about what happened at your little old folks' home. You know, they let you out to do this radio program. Have a little bit of consideration for others, will you? And get on with the thing. All right. Uh, and we all have weaknesses. So, cream cakes, uh, soda pops. Well, please, I'm I'm not trying to, I'm I'm not trying to belittle anybody. Um, Why does Mike look as if he's cooking on a barbecue? Pastor Hoggard is his proper name. Doesn't want us to see Hoggard there. Oh, there there is the name here. You think he's uh, all about uh, keeping the dietary laws in the Torah? <laughs> I somehow doubt that one. Somehow doubt that one, guys. It really looks physically more like a, a follower of Buddha, you know. Unless you're going to listen to what I have to say, and then you're going to argue, okay? How do you know that? 
He who answers before a question is asked, it is shame and folly unto him. Now that's what the King James Bible says, Mike, that you say you believe in. There's another scripture that obviously you need to uh, read it again to remind yourself to see what it says. Because it's not in you, is it, Mike? The word of God isn't in you, Mike. Jesus is not in you, my friend. About 11 o'clock today, um, this this phrase. Do, do your, does your doctrine and your belief... This is a professional preacher meant to be. He can't remember his name, what day it is, and he can't even speak a sentence properly without stuttering. Get to the point, Mike. Do they come from YouTube? Get to the point. Do they come from Facebook? Do they come I'm from... Not, I'm not... I don't have time for this, Mike. I believe the Word of God. No, you don't. Let's see what else he's got to say. I, I want to say other words, but I I, I'm not words. going to. The most... You're not going to? Why? A lot of people pay you money to come on here and give us the truth every, every week or whenever it is. I don't watch your stuff. I got better things to do outrageous theories that could ever be concocted that's enough about Don't your ministry your soup unless you're in Japan and then it's re oh, come on get to the point sorry guys and then you've got people <sighs> the oh, come don't on. slurp your soup unless you're in Japan you sound like my grandmother Mike you'd probably sell your own grandmother wouldn't you for a, for a bowl of soup, wouldn't you? Not. Come on. The integrity of a python. Then, First Peter chapter 1, verse 23. Uh, no, no, no. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but by incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Would that be the same spirit, Mike, that speaks in tongues and does miracles and prophecies that you don't believe in? Yeah? The same one. See, forever is a time word. The Mandela mm -hmm. effect has to do with God doesn't change. Time. Yeah. All right. Um. And I like I like you. Good for I've you, had Mike. two people.